We all love a good hug, whatever our age, and babies are no different. My name's Katie Haler, and I've been looking into the science of snuggles. So baby kangaroos, when they're born, go into mummy's pouch and they stay there until they're big enough to be able to come out and then, as our poster shows, it's actually a probably a toddler-sized kangaroo <laughs> in there at the moment. But kangaroos know that that is the best environment. It is warm, it is moist, it is close to mum, they um, can feed. So it's basically replicating that absolute perfect environment for babies that are born on the unit. All over the world, there are babies in incubators for whom cuddles can be tricky. Close physical contact is important for little ones, as it is for all of us. And there's increasing evidence that skin-to-skin contact benefits babies as well as parents. The 15th of May hosted International Kangaroo Care Awareness Day, so I took a trip to the Rosie Hospital in Cambridge to find out what kangaroo care, or skin-to-skin contact, is all about. First up, here's speech and language therapist Laura Baird. So skin to skin is really important for premature babies because it helps them to improve their oxygen saturation, um, maintain their heart rate, maintain a stable temperature, promotes bonding with their parents and for both parents and babies it promotes the release of oxytocin which is the hormone that makes you happy. And when it comes to feeding, um, obviously breastfeeding you can't breastfeed through clothes so doing skin to skin actually helps baby to be able to smell mum, to smell the milk and to actually be able to work their way down to the breast and when they're ready to actually be able to start feeding, which you couldn't do if you weren't bare skin to bare skin. My name's Kelly Spike. I'm the clinical nurse specialist for NeuroNICU here at the Rosie in Cambridge. So often the mum or the parent is kind of reclined in a chair. Often they'll have a bare chest. And we also, to make sure that the baby doesn't get cold, we pop a blanket behind them as well. In terms of the developing baby, how is this skin-to-skin contact important? It's really interesting that you covered over the last few weeks about the senses. So skin-to-skin on mum or dad's chest is actually an amazing and perfect sensory environment for the baby to learn in and to grow their brain in. And that's not just for babies born preterm or that need a NICU stay, but that's also for babies that are born at term and go home for the first few months as well. Newborn babies, whether premature or term babies, um, they've come from the uterus they've been nice and curled up and really in a flexed position and then they come out into the world and they're put onto their backs which is actually a really difficult position for them to be in whereas when you put them onto their tummies on mum or dad they can go into a more flexed position they feel more comfortable they're not having to work against gravity it helps them with all their body stability and just their state regulation as well so to be able to be in that position enhances their brain development because they're not having to focus on where is my body, what else am I doing, this is really hard to move my arms and legs, there's something pulling me down. So they can get on with developing the way that they would mm. otherwise do. Yeah, exactly. And then from a communication sense as well, they're right there with mum and dad, they can hear their voice, which they've heard the whole way through their development in the womb. So so important for them to actually have that closeness and even for them to be able to hear mum's heartbeat because that's what's been there as well for them. So there's so much that happens before they're born and then immediately as they come out, they're not ready for that massive change in the environment. So it's a nice way to just help to maintain what they're used to and transition them out into the big wide world. What kinds of challenges are presented when you're trying to facilitate the skin to skin contact in a neonatal unit where the babies are premature? So often the babies on the neonatal unit can be very sick. They often come with lots of equipment and other barriers like incubators and things. So it's just navigating your way around or making sure that the baby is as supported as they are in the incubator, but then on um, their parents' chest. Babies that are born preterm or even term babies that are really sick can't always come out for kangaroo care. So we use a technique called positive touch, parents using their hands rather than their chests. So again, it encourages parents to be at the cot side and watching and getting to know their baby but it also again has the same responses in both baby and parent which is that release of oxytocin and reduction in cortisol I'm not disturbing any babies in here yeah, no. we just walked into a room full of incubators and we're standing in front of one now it looked a bit like a large seed tray a transparent rectangular box with a little mattress inside, and these incubators have a whole range of controls. Is that a heat lamp at the top there? Mm -hmm. You just brought the lid all the way up on this incubator, and so I'm guessing that's for keeping babies warm. And and that helps to um, humidify the air as well, so babies that are born very preterm, we humidify it just to stop them losing 
water through their skin, really. And then these holes on the side... So these are the porthole doors, so they just push open and push close. And then parents or members of staff, if we're doing cares, we pop our hands through and touch babies and interact with them as we need to. Is there a certain extent to which the positive touch of skin-to-skin contact kind of has to counteract some of the more negative physical sensations like having a cannula in or being in pain? Definitely. So we try and promote um, with parents to do as much positive touch as they can because we know the touch that babies get can be quite negative and we need to do that because we need to keep these babies well. But it is good to counteract that, definitely. And the great thing about positive touch is it's something that parents can do really quickly and easily so it doesn't necessarily take the same planning that kangaroo care does. And also if babies aren't well enough to come out, it's something they can do in those first few days and weeks while they're waiting to have their babies out for cuddles. How much does concern over things like infection control when you've got a very little one affect this skin to skin contact so often say if mums and dads have got coughs and colds we wouldn't encourage skin to skin at that point because you know sort of the babies do have lower immunity but actually stress can lower their immunity as well so we want to lower the baby's stress as much as we can and if kangaroo care reduces the amount of cortisol that they're releasing then we know that has a positive impact on their immune system quite a balancing act then and you're constantly juggling that absolutely yeah That was Laura Baird and Kelly Spike there from Adam Brooks Hospital in Cambridge.